Philippians 4, 13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Nothing. 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 I was going to go door dashing today, but I was like, you should observe the Sabbath. I was like, Got him. Doing the most. I was like, I'm going to observe the Sabbath today. I was like, you know what? You are right. But the fact that you were able to pick up on that, which means you're sensitive to the spirit. So the Holy Spirit said, rest. This was supposed to be just a voiceover of me showing my messy room, but I was having a conversation with my sister and she was talking about how my brother highlighted the importance of Sabbath to her. So I needed to include it in this video. Hey guys, it's Amarachi. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I make content on faith, lifestyle, and self-care or self-development. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing a reset vlog because I need to get my life in order. I literally, I need to get my life in order. And my sister's calling me. My bathroom needs to be touched up a little bit. I washed it like a week ago. And my fridge is absolutely empty. And my nose are absolutely bare. And I need to unpack still. So literally, need to get my life back in order. I do have on my schedule on Sundays to have a Sunday reset. And I never actually have one because to be honest and transparent, I haven't been the best at being consistent with my schedule. So it's always like I'm rushing into the next day, rushing into the next day, rushing into the next day. And if you guys can relate to it, this is a vlog for you. Hope it encourages you. Let's get our life together. So before we get started in the cleaning and whatnots, we're gonna go to Starbies. And you guys, I don't know where I put it, but church today, uh, this wonderful couple gave me a couple of gift cards and wrote me a little note and it was so cute. So I have a Starbucks gift card and I'm gonna use it. God has been so good. He's good regardless, but he's just been blessing me. And I'm gonna play the song because ain't that just like God to be good. Period. Here we go, another day. Got what to do and to make. But I'm just thankful for what I I have a mobile order. <laughs> We're working on that. Did you want to add anything to that today? Oh, uh, no, that's all. Thank you. While I'm waiting for my Starbucks, it's currently 421 and the goal is to be done at 8 p.m everything I need to do. I really want to go to sleep early, so I'm going to try to meet that goal. Honestly, if I don't get to everything, something's just going to have to wait till the next day because I really want to be good about going to sleep early because your girl be going to sleep at one, two, three, sometimes four. And I'm like, girl, can't be doing that. I can't be doing that actually because I feel like a, ah! oh, I thought it was a spider. <laughs> I can't be doing that. So yeah, he keeps telling me my camera's hot. I'm gonna have to turn it off soon. Hi. Yes, I'm Arachi. Thank you. You too, bye. I got a tall vanilla sweet cream cold brew with the lavender sweet cream cold foam on top. Let's try it before I drive off. Why do I need a straw when I have the lavender sweet cream? really good. I feel like I need to take out the straw to try it. I can't really taste the lavender sweet cream without the straw, so I'm just going to use the straw. I honestly just like the sweet cream. I feel like it gives it an extra zhuzh. <laughs> but let's go home now. We got our Starbucks, and now we have our motivation. I mean, it's not the motivation, but it's it's nice to have a little a little drink. Especially since I'm really sleep deprived. Only had like five hours of sleep last night. 
All right, I'll see you guys when I get back to my apartment. Bye. So usually when I clean, I love listening to either podcasts or sermons. I believe that as believers, we should learn as much as we can about God, about different aspects of faith, because in return, it's sharpening our own faith and strengthening our own relationship with God. So today, while I was cleaning, I decided to listen to In Totality with Megan Ashley. And on this episode, she has a guest. So... As I'm cleaning, you guys will listen to bits and pieces of the podcast, and I hope you enjoy it. Week with another episode, and guess what? I have another amazing guest. Why was I saying Madeline? Help me, Lord. <laughs> She's my friend, and I love her, even though I, I don't always know how to say her last name. <laughs> but Haley is here all the way from London, yes. and I'm so, so tell so tell everyone who you are first, and then we yes. can tell them how we met. Yes two years ago in, my um, in London <laughs> um, but yeah just tell us a little bit about you you're from London yes. but tell us about your background okay cool so my name is Hayley Melinda record um, <laughs> so record is obviously my marital name Melinda's my maiden name but I use all three um, so I'm a public speaker so I've been doing speaking now for 10 years since I was 16 and since then I've been able to do talks across USA UK Europe Dubai, um, Africa as well, works with different corporations from Google, JP Morgan, to um, Wagamama, to Perfume Shop, to wow. IBM, to just great doors, Google, there's so many different doors that God has opened up for me. Um, and I remember when I first started speaking, I started speaking to a room of 12 people. Mm. And you know where the Bible comes and says the creed of it. And still, even when I was 16, I was not saved, I didn't know Jesus, but I still believed in the principle of the things that what you say happens. Mm-hmm. So even when I was speaking to a room of 12 people, I used to go back home and say, God, I know I'm called to speak to thousands. Mm-hmm. God, I know the door's gonna open for me globally. Um, but I'm very big on stewardship. Mm-hmm. Uh, before God could open global doors, I heard God say, what are you doing with my local doors? Mm-hmm. How are you stewarding London? Wow. How are you stewarding the nation that I planted you in? Wow. And I think that a lot of the times people are praying for prayers, but we're not opening to stewarding what God has put in our hands. Yeah. Yeah. So 16, 17, 18, um, I'm literally going up and down London, going across all the universities. I've spoken probably across 25 universities across the UK. Wow. Um, done a whole tour, going to different universities, mm-hmm. speaking, um, and then the international door opened up. We all got time to play. <laughs> and it's crazy, cause, and, and you can tell me if you had this the same experience, and then I want to know. Never, I've never, never had, had peace. peace. All never the meditation, it. all the... I, I never had peace. I never had peace. How deep can I go on this one? We'll never leave our house with our phone dead. We always charge our phone. But how many of us are willing to charge our spirits before we leave? Do you charge your spirit with prayer? It's a worn side of me. Yeah. About that. Right. So I'm looking at it thinking, sis, I don't know what the hell happened. <laughs> um, and what happened?
somebody that says that they have a relationship with Christ, you better be praying. Praying. For wisdom Praying. and discernment. Praying. So that you know. I mean, so, and my mom used to say this. She said, Megan, there's going to come a point in time where we have to be so closely, closely knit to the, to the voice of God mm -hmm. that if he says to turn left or right, do it immediately. Right. That level. Right. And that's what I'm praying for. I'm saying, God, I want to be so close to you. Right. That even if it's don't go to that grocery store, come on. I don't go. Come on now. If it's don't even, if it's wait five minutes before you leave, I wait. Mm. Whatever you say, because the we have to, we're going to have, there's going to be a knowing that we're going to have to have a level of discernment that we're going to need to be able to navigate through this year. And, and it's going to be a clear, a clear difference for those who are following God and those who are not. This is so good. And, you know, just with the scripture that I think about is when Jacob came and said, surely God was in this place and I did not know. I don't want to ever be in a place where God, God is and I don't know. Lord, I'm mercy. so insensitive to his voice, to his move, to his spirit when he's lifted off something. You know, one of the things that God came and said to me recently was, make, don't make the God you encountered in your previous season your God. Because hmm. some of us, are still trying to idolize the previous account that we had with God. Mm -hmm. If God was speaking to you in a previous season through dreams, mm -hmm. you start to believe that God still speaks to you through dreams. Oh, and only will speak to you in dreams. Right. Yeah. Like God speaks to you every single day. The yeah. first type of exposure we had of God is God is the creator. Yeah. Which means that God can create a new way of encountering yeah. him yeah. every single day, yeah. a different days when you encounter. Yeah. And I find that you can be so caught up on the path that you're in. So even like an, a great example is speaking. I've been doing speaking. I was like speaking, 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 speaking. And last year God said, um, I want you to get into music management. Um, and there's an artist now that I manage called Anatoria. She's killing it in the UK. Love like her big gospel artist here in the U um, in the UK. Um, and I remember even when I had the conversation with her, she had been praying the same time that God had been speaking to me. And God had been speaking to me about her for ten months before I approached before she approached me, because God said she will approach me first. And she spoke to me, and how did she, the conversation she reached out to me on was, Haley, I keep getting speaking engagements. I need you to help me with speaking. Mm. And I said, that's so interesting. Mm. We ended up having a conversation and boom, bada bam, ended up managing her. And since working with her, it's just been so interesting to see everything I know about speaking, everything I know about business, everything I know about faith. We pray together all the time. Mm. We have a conversations, Bible studies. It's like, even though, yes, we are, building something in terms of Anatoria and her business mm -hmm. and her, her music her brand, career, yeah. her brand, is very still much rooted yeah. in the word. Yeah. And all our other skills and our other experiences are still coming together. Yeah. And it's just like, wow, when God said to me in 2022, oh, you're gonna do music for a while and you're gonna do this, you're gonna do that. Now I think 2024, wow God, it makes sense why you told us to do all these things. Yeah. And it just reminds me about David. David at one point was a musician. We yeah. remember that he actually was a musician for Saul, for King Saul. Yeah. He came and King Saul was being disturbed by mm -hmm. demons. Yep. And, and they came and said, we yeah. need a minstrel. Mm -hmm. David showed up. David was a shepherd. David was a warrior. David was the son of Jesse. Yeah. In every single season.
Hey guys, I'm back. I finally finished cleaning my room and my bathroom. And man, it's seven o'clock right now and I'm really hungry. And so I'm gonna order out tonight because I don't have any groceries as you guys saw. And then while I'm eating, I'm gonna kind of meal prep. I have no idea what I wanna cook this week, but I'm meal prepping, it's gonna happen. So I can go into the week knowing what I'm gonna eat. So let's order, we're gonna order Asian today. I always, I can always do anything Asian. I don't know if it's the same with you guys, but also ignore my hands if they're ashy. I wash my hands. Um, but yeah, let's get some Asian food. I'm feeling chicken fried rice. So let's do it. Guys, I accidentally ordered the wrong thing. <laughs> Hey, I was upset because you know when you have a craving, eh? And the only way for the team to be satisfied is when you have the actual food. Hey, I was so upset. But it's okay. This one was not so bad. For my nails, I'm using the BT Art Box Soft Gel Press On Nails. I believe I'm saying all that right, but that will be linked in my Amazon storefront in the description. The nail polish I use is also from Amazon and it's the Beatles Gel Polish brand. My nail lamp is also from Amazon, so I'm going to try to link as much stuff that I use in this video um, in my Amazon storefront, but basically I use these products to do my nails every time I do my nails and they're pretty good. Hey guys, you're literally not going to believe what time it is. It is 12 10 a.m. and I've succeeded in not going to sleep early, but I'm literally ordering groceries right now. So I have this app, it's called Evolve You, and basically it's by this lady named Chrissy Chella. She does fitness stuff and they have different meal ideas there. If you're a person that struggles to know what to cook, I suggest that app. It's a well-rounded app because it has workouts, meal plans, and you can also track your progress. Yeah, so I'm picking out some meal ideas from there, and I'm going to order my groceries according to that. I think I just want to shop for the week, but the thing is that I'm literally shopping for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and it's for me and my brother, not just me. So I'm like, uh, what do I order? So I'm trying to figure all that out, and that's basically what I'm doing for the night before I wind down and go to sleep. Okay guys, I've been trying to figure out my lighting. I don't even know if this lighting is good. Update on groceries. I was having trouble falling asleep. So I literally was in and out of sleep. I woke up at 6 a.m. I think I tried to go back to sleep and I was like, I didn't order groceries. Like I need groceries today. My fridge is literally empty. Ordered groceries for like a whole hour. <laughs> and I tried to take a little nap after like 15 minute nap. I could not, could not. But I picked up my groceries. Reset is complete. We have groceries. I still have to pick up one more from Walmart. You guys, if you have not ordered groceries, if you haven't used that as a method for grocery shopping, please do. Save yourself two hours at the grocery store buying stuff that you never plan to buy. If you like me that shops at more than one store, have it pulled out side by side and just kind of compare prices and you can look up reviews if you want to try something new. And all you have to do is pick it up and they try to get the best quality items for you because because they know you're gonna complain if they don't. So honestly, online grocery shopping has saved me a ton of time. And if you want them to deliver you, you just have to pay a small delivery fee and they'll deliver it to you. It's so easy, shopping made easy. I love that. But I'm gonna end this vlog right here. So we accomplished everything we wanted to accomplish. It wasn't in the time frame, but we did accomplish everything and I'm just glad I did because honestly, if I didn't make this vlog, I don't know if I would have committed to like leaving my room, my bathroom, grocery shopping, all that stuff, meal prepping. And you guys, that is all for this video. I hope you were phones <laughs> ringing. That's all for this video. Love you guys so much. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Join the family, join the community. 
And as always, I love you all, but Jesus loves you more than I do because he's perfect and I'm not. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.